Hello. Today we're going to talk about the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. 1836. Enter William Travis. Dodged out on a bunch of business debts, he abandoned his wife and child and headed towards Texas with his slave Joe. Jim Bowie. He forged these documents that he owned all these grants in the United States territory. Jim Bowie's like, yeah, if they're on to me here, I better get to Texas where they're probably not as smart. I'll start doing the same shenanigans down there. Congressman Davy Crockett. Everybody loves this guy. The saying goes, he could kill a grizzly bear with his smile. Well, as it happens, he doesn't get elected for a second term. And he says, you can go to hell. I'll go to Texas. Crockett, Travis, and Bowie head to Texas to take land. Mexico owns the territory of Texas. And the long story short is these guys expel a Mexican army garrison and they take a mission themselves. And that mission is the Alamo. And they hole up in the Alamo. Bowie says, don't worry. There's no way the Mexican army is coming until spring because the winter is too harsh on these high Mexican deserts. Santa Ana and his soldiers arrive in San Antonio. They're on his land. And he says to the Alamo defenders, surrender now or you will be killed. <sighs> Bullsh**. Let's fire a cannon shot at Santa Ana and let him know we know business. And fires a cannon. And this pisses off Santa Ana. On February 26, 1836, Santa Ana begins the offensive. He fires cannon volley after cannon volley, beating down the wall of the Alamo. This goes on from February 26, 1836 to March 5th. They're tired. William Travis in one of his last letters said, I keep asking for reinforcements and nobody's giving me anything. They send like 30 Tejanos, but I'm screwed. Could you help me out a little bit? And then finally, in the early morning, March 6th, General Santa Ana says, I will take my breakfast inside of the walls of the Alamo. And prematurely, one of the soldiers yells, Viva la Santa Ana! And that alerts all of the defenders in the Alamo that the attack is coming. William Travis rallies the troops. Mexicans are 1,800 strong against 200 Alamo defenders made up of Europeans, Jews, two slaves, women and children, and Mexicans who just want to fight for their land. There's no way that they can win this. Colonel William Travis, he runs to the front wall and he's immediately shot and killed in the very first stages of the attack on the Alamo. And his slave, Joe, is like, well, everybody here is fighting for a bit of land. I'm not going to get any land, clearly, so I'm going to not fight. And he took off. The myth has it that Jim Bowie fought to the death. He must have taken out 30 Mexicans with his big knife. The reality is, he had come down with a case of tuberculosis. Jim Bowie was shot in his deathbed. Mexican soldiers breached the wall of the Alamo, and the Alamo defenders realized they have to retreat to the long barracks. So the Mexicans enter the barracks and do away with all of the Alamo defenders in the barracks. And General Santa Ana takes his breakfast inside the walls the Alamo, and Davy Crockett is captured. Davy Crockett, great American mythological legend, is executed that morning.
remember the Alamo is used as a rally, rallying cry, and Texas becomes a state. And the thing that we can take from it, academically, historically, how does Davy Crockett like his pie? How? Alamode. I gotta go. Yeah, me too.